Okay, everybody, in this video, we are going to find the exact value of the expression you see, which is sine of 17 pi over three. Now, some people have a hard time figuring out and, and, and put in position where they have to figure out the trig function of an angle that is not explicitly on the unit circle, but really you have nothing to worry about. There's nothing crazy going on here. So I'm gonna show you what I think is the best way to do this particular example. So I started off by just drawing a quick little circle on the paper. It doesn't need to be perfect, but it doesn't, it can't be bad. All right, your, your scale to, to really wrap your mind around the visual approach that I'm gonna show you is impacted by a crappy drawing, sorry. So make it in a good, decent circle. Now I'm going to just draw X, Y axes through it. Again, just try to make your quadrants approximately the same size. Now from here, this over here, we should all know that if you draw an angle in standard position, a positive angle goes this way, and this over here is pi. My denominator is three. You should think of this spot in this situation as three pi over three, okay? Three pi over three, that started then as zero, also known as zero pi over three. So if I go from zero pi over three, halfway around this three pi over three, another halfway around hits you at six pi over three, which makes these two angles co-terminal. Another three would be nine pi over three. Another three would be 12 pi over three. When really, if you know the full circle is six, you should know the second round is 12 right? Now, a couple ways we could do this. You could either count up from 12 because another six would make it 18. You're going to be beyond. So let's say you count up from here. Now, if that's three pi over three, you're going to hit one, two, three pi over three. So the distance you're going, one third of the whole top half, two thirds of the top half, and three thirds of the top half. And then you would do the same thing down here. Another thing I always like to say to my students is that when you're dealing with pi over three, to remember that it is tall and skinny like a tree. So I know, stupid, go ahead, roll your eyes. It's fine, you'll thank me later, okay? So do, 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 there's your tree, okay? So the pi, my dog is making noise, sorry. <laughs> so tall and skinny like a tree. So that means these tick marks that we're hitting, one, two, three, four, five, six, is how you count by the three. You double the denominator and that's how many tick marks you hit in a loop around the circle. So if that's 12, 13, 14, 15, <laughs> I'm so sorry if you hear him, 16, 17 pi over three will be here. The other thing I was mentioning is if I went around again, I'd hit 18 pi over three and I would just go back one pi over three. Well, now that you know where 17 pi over three is, what do we do with that? Well, we're looking for the sign. Hopefully everyone knows that we consider the X, Y ordered pairs when we're referencing the unit circle. X, Y, X is representative of the cosine of an angle and y is representative of the sine of an angle. Some people remember this as it almost spells out the word cosine, so it wouldn't be sine cos, you know? So cosine, and that's how they choose to remember it. Um, other people remember it because it's in alphabetical order, all right? And what we're doing, I'm gonna draw out, just so you don't have to do this all the time, but just to make sure we all get it, is I'm gonna draw our reference triangle. Now the reference triangle is the one, as the word reference implies, we refer to. So this pink triangle has one corner, one angle touching at the origin, and the other um, angle is touching right to the right of the origin, it's on the x-axis, and then here, this one is touching the circumference of what we call the unit circle. Without going too crazy, I like to think of this as going to the right a little and down a lot. Well, what is going right a little? Going right is positive and a little, hopefully we can all appreciate, is one half. A medium amount in reference to the unit circle is root two over two and a lot is root three over two, okay? So I went to the right, so that's a positive x direction, a little, one half, 
comma, then I went down. Down implies negative a lot. What does that mean? Root three over two. So the ordered pair of the point corresponding to where that terminal side slices the unit circle is one half comma negative root three over two. Since sine is the y value of the ordered pair, where the terminal side of an angle cuts through the unit circle, our final answer is sine of 17 pi over three equals negative square root of three over two. Basically, if it's got a three on bottom or a six on bottom and it's reduced, and you're asked about the sine or the cosine, you really should only be putting positive or negative one half, positive or negative root three over two as an answer. If the angle has a three in the denominator or a six in the denominator, it makes absolutely zero sense for you to put zero, one, root two over two. Those are just quite ridiculous answers. More ridiculous would be root three over three, root three, um, undefined, root two, two, any of the secant, cosecant, tangent, or cotangent answers. So I hope you felt okay about this one. I hope you got it right on your own. If you have a way that you did it, that's great. Some people use tables. Some people use other ways of doing it. I'm very visual. I'm going to explain it this way. Feel free to share your way in the comments. Maybe it'll help somebody else. And if you feel fairly confident about your ability, go ahead, give the video a thumbs up. If you don't, go ahead, tell me now and click through for the next example. And I hope you feel a little bit more confident and smarter after this video. Adios.